Okay, so this thing rotates around here and hits this ball, comes to a stop, and the ball goes out. So using angular momentum conservation, so that means Li equals Lf. Well, it tells you what I is. It says it's ml squared over 3, and it tells you what the angular speed is. So that's going to be ml squared over 3 times omega. And that must be equal to mr squared times um, omega. Um, and omega is v over r. So that's just simply going to be the mass 2. By the way, this is mass 1 here. Mass 2. The radius would be L. And this would be V. So we're trying to figure out the speed V in terms of the other things. So, anyway, so you can go ahead and simplify it and solve. Determine the linear momentum of the system before the collision. Well, there's nothing that has linear momentum because this is rotating and that's angular momentum and that's not even moving, so that's zero. That's easy. Find the linear momentum after the collision. Well, after we solve this for V, um, the linear momentum after the collision for the system is going to be M2 times whatever you find for V. What's responsible for the change in that linear momentum? Um, what's responsible for it is there is a net external force that acts at the um, point P here, um, this fixed end. Um, it's not free, and so that exerts a force that causes a change in linear momentum. The reason why angular momentum is conserved is because there's no external torque for our rod and ball system. So there is a force that acts here at P, but the lever arm, when you're doing force times distance times sine of the angle, the distance there is zero, so no external torque. That was an AP problem, by the way. This is another one. Okay, so for linear momentum um, conservation, so PI has to be equal to PF. So that would be M2V has to be equal to M2V over 2, and that's negative because it's in the opposite direction, plus mass 1 times the velocity of the center of mass. So it's going to be 2 halves, 3 halves. So 3 halves M2V equals M1. BCM. And so 3 halves M2V divided by M1 would be the velocity of the center mass.
Okay. I'm doing part B now using conservation of angle momentum. So Li equals Lf. Um, Li would be, let's see, I think that says L over 6, right? It's hard for me to read that. Hmm. I think it says L over 6, though. So this is L over 2, um, which would be 3 over 6. So that must be um, 2 over 6. So it's one third, evidently. Okay, so this would be um, mr squared times um, omega, which omega is v over r. The r's cancel, and so this just ends up being m2 r, where r is l over 3. times V. And then afterwards, it's going to be M two L over L over three, and then it's negative V over two. Plus I of the rod times omega final. Alright, so this is going to be coming down there six. So let's make this six three three no what sorry two six. Alright? Yes, two six. Okay. Okay, so it's going to be M2 L V. This is 2, 6, 3, 6. That's uh, 3, 6, that's a half. So 1 half equals. M1 L squared over 12 times um, omega final return. Yes, omega final. So we can solve this now for omega final. Okay, to figure out the change in energy. Um, only this one has energy in the very beginning and the end we have a translational kinetic energy a translational and a rotational kinetic energy so this is going to be um, one half um, m2 v over 2 squared plus one half m1 times velocity of center mass squared that we found up here plus one half i where this is i so I'll just put i for now omega final squared and remember we found omega final here um, that's going to be the final energy minus one half m2 v squared and so anyway there's that one. And this is also an AP problem.
Okay, so um, for part A to find the torque, um, the torque from this one is going to cancel the torque from this one. So the only one torque that we have is due to the bug. So to figure out the torque, that's just from the bug, which is going to be 3mg um, times L times the sine of 90. Okay. Determine the angular acceleration of the rung immediately after the bug went. Okay. So um, torque equals I alpha. So B I alpha equals this. Um, I is going to be the rotational inertia of this plus the rotational inertia of this plus the rotational inertia of this. So it's going to be um, 4 M L squared plus this one here, M L squared times alpha equals the torque. So we could find the angle acceleration. Um, I think for this one we want to use energy conservation. So when it was up here like this, um, it, um, it would have a gravitational energy of, of the bug and this one, um, and of course this one here as well. And let's hit this zero level. And then when it got down to here, um, this one would have gravitational energy again. Um, that's more. But these don't have any gravitational energy. So where's the extra energy? Well, that's going to be um, rotational kinetic energy. So the angular. Okay. So C is going to be equal to. Um, 3m plus m, that's 4m, 5m, so it's going to be 5mg, and the height would be L above this lowest level, and that's going to be equal to, well, at this level, it's going to be mg 2L plus the rotational kinetic energy, so one half I omega squared, and that's what I'm trying to find omega. Um, we already found I up here. This is I. So um, we know what I is, and now we can solve for omega. As far as angular momentum, then angular momentum is going to be I omega. So we just found omega here. We found I up here. And so that's fairly simple. Determine the magnitude and direction of force. Okay, so since this is moving like this at this point right here there must be a net force in this direction on the bug so i'm going to draw a force diagram for the bug there's a weight force 3 mg but there has to be a bigger force this way i don't know what you want to call it so call it f so the net force must be equal to f minus 3 mg Magnitude and direction of the force in that piece. Okay, so this is going to be mv squared over r, so it's going to be 3m v squared over r, which is L. Um, we figured out omega, the angular speed here. Remember that v equals r omega, so L omega. So we'll know what V is. We can plug in here. Equals F minus 3 mg. And we're trying to solve for F. Uh, 